So here we are, so many American families in the last dash of summer and one more road trip during the warm days. But who doesn't know the frustration of rolling right past a speed trap? ABC's Steve Osinsami tries to help. We know sometimes it can seem so unfair. You're driving down the road and the speed limit says 55, but suddenly it's 35 for a very short stretch and there's a police officer waiting under the sign. I'm gonna pay these tickets, but you know it's a shame that the city don't have any money. Meet Kurt Scarjoon, a retired Detroit area cop. I said to myself that when I got a chance to speak out about it, that I would. He says it's just what you might suspect, that cities and counties make a whole lot of money off speed traps. It's like a, a dirty secret. Along I-71 in Lindale, Ohio, the speed drops to 60 for about 14 seconds on the highway. And before a court stepped in last winter, the tiny town collected 800,000 a year. Along I-10 in the middle of Cajun country, tickets from a speed limit change at the bottom of this bridge covered 80% of the budget for Henderson, Louisiana, more than $2 million. The police chief and his deputy deny it, but they're accused of paying officers kickbacks to write tickets. But across the country, drivers are taking note, reporting more than 78,000 speed traps since 2000. In the data, a warning. The cities with the most traps are Colorado Springs, Denver, Vegas, Austin, and the number one is Houston. To all those frustrated drivers who feel they've been pulled over in a speed trap, authorities say that when there's a hill and the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, it's not a trap, it's about public safety. My police chief in Georgia took me out for a little driver's ed near a hill I've had trouble with near my home. You need to start to cover that brake with your foot and start slowing down. The bottom of a hill is a classic ticketing hotspot. He saw us yeah. sitting here and he's already up to 38 miles an hour. We know that speed kills. According to the federal government, nearly 10,000 Americans die every year in speed-related accidents. These are not speed traps. What these are, we're responding to citizens in, who reside in this community who are saying that there are people who are traveling along this roadway at 40, 50 miles per hour. He says they certainly raise revenue here, but says their real goal is to slow everyone down. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.